Okay, so in my opinion, being lazy and ambitious don't really work together. That's one of the many lies the internet will promote and try and sell you on. So instead, I want to suggest a better solution that's changed my life completely, and that is learning programming. And so a bit of background, I guess growing up, I played a decent amount of video games. You know, I struggled with social anxiety and my ambition overall was a bit restricted. Um, but then I discovered programming or coding, as I might call it in this video. And to be honest, initially, I wasn't really that interested. But over time, I would showcase more of it through videos and just online content. And the idea of making tools that millions of people could use and just overall autonomy in my own work sounded pretty appealing and exciting. And also today, people are growing up in a world that runs on code, you know, from your Amazon orders, your AI apps to your hospital appointments, you know, software is consuming everything. So it makes sense to get on the edge of that. So out of the gate, learning programming changes the sort of person you will become. And if I flash back to the sort of person I was in the past, you know, a minimal effort sort of person, it wasn't the best. But since learning programming, I can now focus for important tasks for way longer. I can spot opportunities to pursue and my overall interest in academic topics has just multiplied. So these are really valuable skills that you can grow with programming. And if I just kind of throw this back to you, just think how much your life will change if you're focused 5x in 12 months. You know, it's a massive difference in your personal life, your productivity, and that's the power of programming. That's what it can do. And the reason for this is that it teaches you how to think efficiently. So when you learn to code, while it can be tough at first and there can be a painful period, you gradually start to develop the ability to break complex problems into smaller, more kind of more manageable pieces and ultimately bring them together to some sort of solution. And this is essentially just computational thinking, you know, it's, and it's useful for far more than just programming. And you just start to apply this mindset not only to your, you know, your productivity, your programming work, but other areas of your life as well. So this could be your schoolwork, you know, your personal life challenges, your ideas. And you just get better at solving problems because you're cognitively conditioning yourself all the time. You know, in the same way that people go to the gym to train their muscles, you're training your kind of your psychological capability. And that's a really powerful thing to do. And also people often talk about coding as if it's some sort of obscure, kind of nerdy, weird skill to crack and it's hard to crack. And that's not the case, you know, it's really just like learning anything else. The trick is to start small and keep going. And I'm not naturally academic, but if you're consistent, you will get there as well. You know, it just takes time and consistency and just hard graft and, you know, really being engaged in what you're trying to do and also having your long term vision of what you want. And even if you don't want to work in tech or become a programmer, that's fine. Just understanding how programming works is really valuable. Many people these days are so abstracted away from how technology really works behind the scenes. You know, being fast at using Apple's iOS interface is far different from understanding how apps actually work behind the scenes. Having that window of understanding that gives you a real edge on other people. And so if you've come this far, maybe I've convinced you, maybe I haven't, but below I'll link some brilliant introductory videos and courses to get you started. And if you're unsure about what programming language to learn or to get into, let me know and I'll make a video about this in the future. But the main thing to take away is to think about what you'd like to build, whether that's a game, a tool, uh, something that helps you out, you know, whatever interests you, whatever makes you excited, that's the main thing. And then based on this, pick the relevant programming language and work backwards from there. And so that's it really, you know, if you're already kind of into coding, I'm preaching to the choir, but if you're getting into it, I hope this has encouraged you to try it today. And that's it really, you know, hopefully this video has been useful and I'll see you in the next one.